Welcome to my channel, Pint Size Stories, where I share a very short story and tidbits about gardening and nature. The title of today's story is Arrival. Hi, Sophie, greeted Mum, answering the phone. Hi, replied Sophie tensely, pregnant pause. They're coming tomorrow afternoon, Sophie's words rushed out. I have to buy food, go to the drugstore, clean the bathroom. Anything I can do? I'll let you know. Gotta go. Bye. Mom settled down for a good read. She wouldn't be sleeping much tonight. The next afternoon, two women arrived at Sophie's house, bringing bags and a filled molded bucket. One of the women slowly scooped out the bucket's contents, which she carefully handed to Sophie. Joyfully, Sophie embraced her precious foster baby girl. If you enjoyed this video, would you consider subscribing, giving it a thumbs up? Perhaps you would like to leave a comment. If you'd like to be notified of new videos, click the bell icon. When I make some pots with flowers, Sometimes I like to include a vegetable. In this pot, I have some fibrous begonias, and in the back, I have a celery plant. Both the celery and the begonia do well in a part shade location. Later in the summer, I can harvest some of the celery stalks. This frilly pink oriental poppy reminds me of a fancy ball gown. Peonies are one of the longest living perennials. They don't like to be moved, but once they are in a permanent site, they will last for decades. They like to be in full sun, and apart from that are fairly. They come in lovely shades of pink and white, red, and many of the pink ones are very fragrant. You can even dry peony flowers and they will retain their color through the winter. Giant fleece flower is a dramatic plant that grows to be quite large. Even though it dies back totally in the winter, it will grow up to five feet tall by the middle of June. Its flowers last for several weeks. It's a very good pollinator plant for small pollinators. Although the clump gets bigger year by year, it is not an aggressive plant, but it does need a good size space. This flea bane is attracting some small bees. Many plants that are considered weeds are actually very good for native pollinators. This is a white admiral butterfly. Thank you for watching my channel. Next week, there will be a story about how it can be hard to help other people. I hope you'll stop by then. Take care.